sexy bitch um, again you know just uh, me being open to life uh, we first met with Akon at the World Music Award uh, two years ago where we both win him for the R&B and me for um, dance music and um, it was uh, it was very funny because when we, we first spoke we were, yeah it was very funny because we were at the same table and um, he didn't really know my music. So we just, you know, having a nice conversation. And then I go on stage and I perform uh, Love is Gone with Chris Willis. And I see Akon from the stage jumping on the table, going crazy. I'm like, what? What's, what's going on? And when I finished, I came back and Akon is like, this is my favorite song. This is my, I cannot believe that it's you. I love this song so much. Whatever. We never spoke again. Two years after, I'm again on stage with Akon. It's a Radio 1 festival close to London. I perform When Love Takes Over. And Akon is coming on stage just after me. And he's like, David, it's you again? That beautiful song. I don't believe this. We need to work together. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Wait for me, we go have a drink. So he performs on stage, and after, I'm like, listen, let's not have a drink. We go, we rent a studio tonight, and he was going to America in the morning, and I was going to France in the morning. So we're like, okay, it doesn't matter. We don't sleep, we rent the studio, and we met Sexy Bitch in one night. It was just perfect. And I love when we make music like this, when it's like instant and, and you know, there's no plan, there's no, no, no contracts, there's no managers, there's no agent, there's no record company. It's just that we want to make music and we want to have fun. And then after, everything comes, of course. But, you know, it was just that genuine feeling, okay, we want to do something together, let's do it now. And I love this.